Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. In my entire life, I have never seen America and actually the rest of the countries of the world so divided or divided politically, racially, economically, every area you can think of. Uh, But not just divided to the point of anger and violence and even murder. I've never seen this before. My guest says it's not flesh and blood. You guys are looking at the natural. My guest says it's an ancient demonic spirit that he knows how to stop it in its tracks. Anyone interested in finding out? You know, about 13 years ago, uh, Lance and I uh, developed a friendship, and uh, you and your wife came to Israel with me because I was going to speak at a New Age festival. We didn't know what to expect, but it was a horror story. That's the only way I can describe it. It had rained the day before, and we were walking, slushing through the mud, uh, and uh, other people live with drugs and looking the way they uh, normally look at these New Age festivals. And so I, I start my lecture, and we bumped into a spirit, an ancient spirit, and Both of us were not aware of it until after it surfaced. Uh, Lance, what was your recollection of that? I mean, it was like Woodstock. That was what was unusual about it. Who expects Woodstock in Israel? So, and I'm going down there with you, and I figure, okay, we're going to have a like a nice Christian tent meeting. We get into this tent, and uh, it was the most bizarre and enlightening experience of my life because I could never understand when Paul would preach and there was these riots breaking out. (laughs) In any church, the ushers grab somebody before anything gets out of control. I'd never been in a riot. You created a riot. You start talking, and they got the nude swimmers in the back in the foreground in the ocean. We've got people with like uh, mascara on and 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 uh, wood voodoo hats. On. It was bizarre. Canes walking around doing curses on them, and then we got people manifesting shouting at Sid right in the middle of his message, and they're cursing at him, dropping these obscene words, and I'm standing there in shock. I'm thinking, I didn't expect this at a, at a, in, at a meeting. <laughs> and, and the yelling is going on, and Sid is engaging this person who's yelling back at him. I said, this is total chaos. And in the middle of it, one guy who's clearly not a Christian, a Jewish guy, is on, on, laying down on a towel watching on this, and he sits up and he goes, wait a second, hey, I don't know what all you guys are yelling about, but my back just got healed. <laughs> so, he goes, so he goes, what? In the middle of all of this, your back got healed? Is anybody else getting touched by God? And this is stupefying the people yelling at you because now they're being interrupted by a supernatural act, and they're, they're, they don't know what to say. They were, they were cussing at you. That worked. Now this guy's inter- other people are going, hey, my neck, and he's, well, check it out, whatever's wrong. But Lance, what you did not know, and what I did not know, I left and I thought, I failed you, God, miserably. That's, I mean, I saw the healing, and, and a few people raised their hands, a bunch of uh, these were Jewish people, uh, and received the Lord, but I, I just figured, what a mess. I'm sorry I even got involved. I get back to the States, and I find out one young man got saved who today is the leading evangelist, Messianic Jewish evangelist in Israel. You don't know what God is doing. 
Well, Lance, you don't know what God's doing in your life. I mean, out, out of nowhere, USA Today has, has an article. Yeah. They, they, they say you're one of the few people that prophesied Donald Trump would win. Uh, you even went beyond that. You talked about well, what would occur. <laughs> uh, uh, he'd be like Cyrus. He, 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 would, he would do some things for America that like no one else could possibly do. Um, he had a best-selling book before he won, saying he was going to win. How could you be so sure he was going to win? Well, that's, I think that uh, ignorance is bliss. I was so focused on the battle for America, and there was such an urgency in me for the outcome of this thing, that, uh, and I had people come up to me and say, Lance, why would you destroy your whole ministry credibility yeah. on a political prediction? People can go down, and I said, look, I, it's not a political prediction. I'm just saying what I heard God say. Isaiah 45 will be the 45th president. I believe that this has to happen in America, and I think the church has a choice. And, you know, most people don't know this, but the victory that he had in the Electoral College was based on 0.008% of the total votes. And that means 0.008% of the total votes showed up in five swing states that gave him the Electoral College. It looked as though he had the Electoral College sweep with 300 votes, but the reality is it was the Christian turnout at the last minute that produced the .008 in five swing states. In other words, God did this by a razor-thin margin, and a remnant of believers really determined the future for the United States. And it gives me just goosebumps to realize that it always comes down for us to the remnant. It's a remnant that'll make a difference in America and the world. Lance, I have to ask you a personal question. You're so involved in the political arena today. Uh, has this been a passion for many years? Not at all. Absolutely <laughs> hate politics. And uh, I was so ignorant. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't tell you, I'm so ignorant in politics. I had a door open up in Washington to, uh, through the Cedars Fellowship years ago, which works with all these ambassadors. And, and I wanted to go down and do global evangelism. And at dinner, I'm meeting with a major senator's wife and stuff, and I was saying, you know who would be a good person to run with your husband on a ticket? And I suggested somebody who was from the other party. And it was like, <laughs> it was so stupid. Everybody stared at me. And I said, you know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. I had no political bearings whatsoever. I'm a revivalist. I'm a, I want to talk about revival. I don't then you politics. find yourself in Trump Towers with President Trump, right, right. Uh, and, and you're saying, God, how did I get here? And he spoke to you. That was ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm on my second trip there, and both times I felt uncomfortable. But the second trip, I was brought in, imagine this, I was brought in by some of the African-American leaders who wanted to deal with building better race relationships with Donald <laughs> Trump. And, uh, and, uh, and when I'm up there in you know, the second visit, and everybody's yelling, all of this activity, I'm saying, I'm not, I don't want to be in politics. I don't want to be in race issues. I just want to preach the Bible. And uh, that was when the Lord said to me, I'm only answering your prayers. And it was just like a clear thought, because I thought I'm off track. And I said, Lord, when did I ever pray that I wanted to get involved with presidential politics or complicated race relations? And the Lord said, every time you pray in tongues, you tell me you want to get involved with healing the nation's problems, and I'm hmm. putting you where you can do it. At that moment, I thought, my gosh, like you, I'm a, I'm a passionate believer in praying in the Spirit, but I thought I was praying something else. I thought I was praying for financial support. Who knows what I was thinking of? I was praying my way into Trump Towers. You were praying God's kingdom be on earth as, as it, it is, is in heaven. heaven. And, That's and, what you And were after praying. that, every time I pray in tongues, I think I have no idea what I'm setting myself up for, but it's the plan of God. Okay, now we have a phenomena that everyone's talking about. It's called fake news. You know what's behind that phenomena. Clue yeah. us in. Yeah. So I'm watching the fake. Now, I know this is a spiritual battle going on with Trump. I mean, it is clearly a spiritual battle. And, um, and the reason I know that is because the, just the manifestation. I mean, you're, you do the Supernatural show. If, if there is in your synagogue, everything is normal, and Jesus comes in, and suddenly somebody starts screaming and yelling, and cussing, you know the problem isn't the new preacher. The problem is that there's an anointing on what's happening, and it's driving to the surface something is hidden. It's like what happened at the New Age Festival. Precisely. It was the chaos that was yeah. going on because of the anointing. 
And you and I are looking at it thinking something's wrong. It was actually an evidence that God's power was visiting. But that you have identified there is an ancient spirit behind this. Tell me about that spirit. Yes, because I'm saying these manifestations in the nation, the race riots, the this riot, the that, the Berkeley, these are manifestations of demons, Sid. This is demons stirring up flesh into, and why are people so passionately and ideologically uh, toxic over this? So here's how the spirit works. It is a world ruling class spirit. There are spiritual principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness of this world. This is a world ruler. It is the prince behind mind control. So when you're in like propaganda stuff like Nazi Germany or in mm -hmm. communist Mao world, this spirit works through mind control on a mass level. And it works in order to divide people against people. So Satan knows that if he can create poor against rich, male against female, young against old, black against white, heterosexual, homosexual, the more division he can create, the more power he can consolidate. This spirit is an expert at serving Lucifer in sowing division to divide people to create new power structures. And, and by the way, it's not just politics. It's, it hits you right in your home, right in your church, right in your children's school. It, it, it doesn't discriminate. It hits everyone. Uh, Lance, uh, it, it, the word Leviathan means twisting serpent, right. uh, like a crocodile or an alligator. Right. Uh, tell me why. Well, it's referred in Job as the creature of the Nile, so we really do know it's talking about this species. And the way that it operates is 40% of the crocodile is teeth. So that tells you that this spirit mostly is in the mouth. It's mostly a communicating spirit. Big mouth. A big mouth, yeah. And, and, and its teeth, like a crocodile, when a crocodile fastens on you, it doesn't have uh, the ability to move its jaws. So what it does, and you see these on like National Geographic, you'll see this spinning like in the, yeah. meanwhile in the Nile, this thing is spinning, this poor water buffalo is getting, you know, tormented. What they do is, they'll, the two of them at a time will go up and sneak up. Here's the key. They're undetected. Then they suddenly come up, grab a hold of a limb, some vulnerable point, mm -hmm. and they do what's called the death spiral. They sink their teeth in and they spin and use their body weight to tear the limb off. And by dismembering, they can destroy. If that isn't working, they spin and pull you under into their realm and cut off the oxygen. And I'm looking at that and saying five times in the Bible, this spirit's referred to as Leviathan and it's in the water. And Lord, what is it that you're saying about the operation of this? And here's the pretty clear truth. David said as a king, all day long do my enemies twist my words. They're my enemies without a cause. Meaning David had political adversaries who would seize on anything he said in order to distort the meaning of it to divide his administration. You know what? We have all seen that happen in our life. I, I won't even mention the names, but two names that are household words in Christendom. I was at a planning meeting with them and I, I made a stay. I, I spoke for a little bit. I sat down and one of these two got up and said, I'll take what anyone says, but I cannot take what you just said. Ooh. And I'm thinking, what did I say? These are national leaders. And they said, you cannot say it is wrong to evangelize Jewish people. And I thought, that's the last thing I'd ever say. And, and, and a woman sitting next to me that I didn't even know stands up and said, he didn't say that. That was Leviathan. Exactly. Makes no sense whatsoever. Exactly. Now imagine if he hadn't spoken it. He could have walked out of there. And thought it. And thought it and said to other people. And gossip. In a closed room, mm -hmm. I heard what Sid Roth said. Would you, but they'd be go, oh, he said what? Now the division starts. Now the dismembering starts. And that's how that spirit works. When this thing works, what I've noticed is that spirit, it's called the king over the children of pride in Job, which means that when you're under that influence, you'll notice that people that are actually torqued out by this spirit are not in a teachable moment. If you try to correct them, uh, it's difficult to win the argument, which is why your approach on dealing with the spirit has to be the wisdom. That's why we, that's why we do training in the, in the material that we've got on how to deal with it. Because there's three levels of stronghold 
in politics, in ideology, in religion, from Islam, Christian, three levels of stronghold. And this, by the way, is in Pentecostal teaching. This is the three levels of stronghold we work with in corporations when we're changing a corporate culture. The first level is opinion. People just have opinions because they pick it up like virus. They just pick it up on social media and friends. The second level is belief. The third level is conviction. The hardest one to beat is the conviction level. What this spirit does when it gets a hold of you is it moves you almost supernaturally into angry conviction. It's done. It, people get become radically convinced. Isn't this right. what we're seeing in the in the fake news? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It, it's it goes. It's not even an opinion. It's a conviction, and people yes. are certain they're right. But pride makes you unteachable. So it's like, how do you win the argument with that? So this spirit is doing a, a breakup job on America. It does it on marriages. It does it on businesses and churches. Okay. We recognize this spirit. We've seen it operate in our life, in our families, in our nation. Enough is enough. Let's find out how, how to get rid of it. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Dr. Lance Wallnow's brand new two-part audio CD teaching set, Leviathan, The Twisting Serpent, and his three-part audio CD teaching set, Breaking Controlling Spirits. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9485. Through Dr. Lance Wallnow's powerful teaching, Leviathan, you will know that the spirit of Leviathan is troubling you if the meaning of your words are continually being twisted. You notice division and disunity working to dismember key relationships God has put into your life. There is an atmosphere of accusation against you. You're struggling with insomnia, mental focus, or having nightmares. You feel distant from God or feel as if you are stuck in a wilderness experience. Dr. Lance Wallnow reveals how to quickly detect the spirit of Leviathan. Protect yourself, your family, business, and ministry. Lance will equip you to break the demonic influence, and he teaches you how to pray for others who are in its grasp. Through Lance Wallnow's powerful three-part audio CD teaching, Breaking the Controlling Spirits, you will understand that there is a war being fought in the unseen realm and the battlefield is in your mind. Be empowered to discern demonic attacks. Learn to use spiritual battle strategies on how to cripple the spiritual forces trying to wreak havoc in your life. Banish fear and dwell in an abundance of peace and joy always. Deploy heaven's secret weapon for overcoming addictions. Render powerless the global mind control attempt to manipulate your thoughts and emotions. Lance prays for you to be set free from all controlling spirits and be anointed for victory. Leviathan spirit, I never understood that behind what we call the divisions in America, in the world, divisions in families, divisions in politics, divisions in race, divisions in wealth. I've never seen so many divisions, but behind that is an ancient spirit called Leviathan. Don't miss out on getting Lance Wallnow's brand new two-part audio CD teaching set, Leviathan, The Twisting Serpent, and his three-part audio CD teaching set, Breaking Controlling Spirits. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9485. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9485 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Lance. Practically tell me, how, how does this play out in a family in America or, or in Paris, France, or wherever you're watching? It's, it's easy to detect once you see it. So like the creature in the Nile, you can see those crocodiles that like they're floating, they're, their eyes are protruding, yeah. and it's like the moment you catch it, it goes back underground. If you hit a moment when you are flooded, Sid, with toxic thoughts that produce rage, anger, hatred, and a sense of violence towards someone or something or an idea, you can know that's not coming from heaven. Yeah, but what, what, what if you say, but there are reasons I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. There are always reasons. There's, al there's, always, there's always reasons why that happens. The secret is that out of nowhere, you'll be thinking about a person or mm -hmm. a thing, and the feelings will start to come up. And so that's the underwater part. 
if you can detect it, the moment you can detect it, and this is particularly important for businesses, ministries, and we've all seen it. The setup is this. You have a bit of a strained relationship with somebody. All that it takes is one incident, one wrong word, and snap. It's as though everything that you were thinking about them is confirmed. Mm -hmm. And in truth, that first seed that got put in you was a spiritual seed. So I tell people this, that uh, you have to be able to catch toxic thinking towards relationships that are in your life. Satan is in the business of tearing relationships. I can't necessarily deal with everything going on around the world, but I can have authority over what's in my own garden. And so I'm going to make sure that whatever feelings I have towards the people that are around me, that I catch it when the feelings come, if they're negative, and I say, is that you, Lord? Or what is, is, that, what, is that discerning? Because the only time you'll ever get anything that's negative from heaven is a discerning of spirits. And that's a missing ingredient. And that's a missing ingredient, discerning. Jesus knew. He said, uh, the man who is going to betray me has his hand on the table. His spirit was troubled. That's far different than having toxic thoughts that are hostile and, and, uh, and uh, negative about another person. When a man gets it towards his wife, it's the beginning of the divorce. When a woman has it towards her husband, it's the loss of respect that leads to a divorce. When a child has it towards a parent, it's the moment that they stop listening to correction. And so the spirit gets, once people get the teaching, they see it. And the moment you see it, you can break it. It's as though it's but, but, you no longer got control. But, but, but here's the thing that amazes me. I know if you're dealing with a demon, you say with a loud voice, get out in the name of Jesus. I bind you. And you say that won't have any effect on this spirit. What does? Right. And that's, that's the mystery. It's because when you're dealing with a world ruler like this level, the... Uh, the smart strategy is to let the Lord do the deliverance. This is one spirit where what we do is we have to pull out of the emotional connection. Because that spirit, you see, you see people that get into a, a, a fight on the street. It's going to be escalated, matched with escalated. What we have to do is de-escalate. We literally have to go into a place of humility and the love of God, and it disconnects the power of that hook from us. That doesn't mean you're not going to come back. Like, for instance, I deal with media. I have to constantly do what Jesus said. He said, take heed what you hear and take heed how you hear. Well, how am I supposed to do this when I'm dealing with political subject matter? I have to hear what they're saying, mm -hmm. even if it's Leviathan. The Lord said, take heed how you hear it. Don't let it get a reaction in you where you start to become a problem too. I have to be able to be, in a sense, able to see the lie, able to love the voices talking to me, and able to turn it around to find out how to show other people what's really going on. I can't afford to get hooked in that spirit. Lance, would you pray right now for people to operate in discernment? I need this discernment because we're coming in to a moment in history like the world has never seen before. It's a borrowed moment that should have not been there. But God rearranged things for the destiny of America to evangelize the world. And we need this discernment. Pray that right now. We need now. it. This spirit of discernment, the one gift that the church needs most, we talk about word of knowledge, we love it. We talk about healing, we love prophecy, we love faith. But the discerning of spirits is going to save your life because it'll protect you from the wrong partnership, it'll protect you from being sucked into the wrong fight at the wrong time. Here's my prayer. I pray for you right now that in your marriage, in your ministry, in your business, and in all future partnerships, especially some of you, I sense the favor of God is on you. You're entering a new season. You have to be very careful because when you have favor, you attract the right and the wrong opportunities. I pray for the discerning of spirits. May you discern Leviathan, that twisting serpent, when it's trying to produce division between you and somebody God called you to walk with in agreement. I pray in the name of Jesus that you have a gut level spiritual discerning, that you won't have to be analyzing with your head, but you'll have it in your heart as Jesus had it when his spirit was disturbed because of the breach of covenant at the table. Father, I thank you that the discerning of spirits is operating to understand what manner of spirit we're dealing with in Jesus' name. And Jesus summarized it best, love never, never fails. 
All around us, we're seeing great hostilities and misunderstandings between nations. Within America, we're witnessing divisions between political parties, within political parties, between young and old, between male and female, between races, and even within the body of Messiah. Do you or someone you know find it difficult to focus? Do you experience moments when your mind is flooded with hostile, hateful, or accusing thoughts towards others? It could very well be that you have encountered a spirit the Bible describes as Leviathan, a world ruler in the occult hierarchy of hell that rules over nations. Call now and get Dr. Lance Wallnow's brand new two-part audio CD teaching set, Leviathan, the Twisting Serpent, and his three-part audio CD teaching set, Breaking Controlling Spirits, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9485. Leviathan will flood your mind with hostile, accusatory, wounded, whatever vulnerability you have, it will speak to you in terms of making a toxic poison about your father, your daughter, your partner, your spouse, your pastor, or whatever. And the moment you're poisoned, it starts to go to work and twisting the relationship. Through Dr. Lance Wallnow's powerful teaching, Leviathan, you will know that the spirit of Leviathan is troubling you if the meaning of your words are continually being twisted. You notice division and disunity working to dismember key relationships God has put into your life. There is an atmosphere of accusation against you. You're struggling with insomnia, mental focus, or having nightmares. You feel distant from God or feel as if you are stuck in a wilderness experience. Dr. Lance Wallnow reveals how to quickly detect the spirit of Leviathan. Protect yourself, your family, business, and ministry. Lance will equip you to break the demonic influence, and he teaches you how to pray for others who are in its grasp through Lance Wallnow's powerful three-part audio CD teaching. Breaking the controlling spirits, you will understand that there is a war being being fought in the unseen realm and the battlefield is in your mind. Be empowered to discern demonic attacks. Learn to use spiritual battle strategies on how to cripple the spiritual forces trying to wreak havoc in your life. Banish fear and dwell in an abundance of peace and joy always. Deploy heaven's secret weapon for overcoming addictions. Render powerless the global mind control attempt to manipulate your thoughts and emotions. Lance prays for you to be set free from all controlling spirits and be anointed for victory. I've read many times about this Leviathan spirit. I never understood that behind what we call the divisions in America, in the world, divisions in families, divisions in politics, divisions in race, divisions in wealth. Lance Walnut, I've never seen so many divisions, but behind that is an ancient spirit called Leviathan. Don't miss out on getting Lance Walnow's brand new two-part audio CD teaching set, Leviathan, The Twisting Serpent, and his three-part audio CD teaching set, Breaking Controlling Spirits. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9485. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9485 or or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. My guest was on an airplane minding his own business, and all of a sudden he was taken up to heaven. And the Messiah of Israel said to him, Tell my people there is more 